guys, welcome to the PC Tips Pro and in today's video we are going to see how to add Google Analytics to your Google Sites. So before getting into the video, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the PC Tips Pro, please do subscribe. And now let's get into the video. Here we go with our Google Analytics uh, site. So all you need to do is go to your search engine and look for analytics.google.com and you'll be taken to this kind of page so here uh, you can see something called as some description like you know google analytics gives you free tools uh, that you need to analyze data for your business in one place so you can make smarter decisions so it's all about like most of you might be uh, knowing this like google analytics is measure of what your customers are like engagement of your visitors or customers with your content so it simply like uh, simply means that so here you will be able to understand this complete information like your site and app users and you can uh, check the performance of your marketing and your content your products and many more things so it's like uh, irrespective of your domain like your business or your blog or anything so it will be helping you with this all the data like uh, keeping track of what the visitors are looking for and the performance of your sites or apps so and then this uh, you can get the insights only google can give and you can connect your insights to the results so here are these are the future features of the google analytics so now let's uh, start creating our google analytics account so now i'll be showing you step by step how can you create this google analytics account so firstly click on start measuring and here it will be asking you your account name so uh, for the account name uh, you can um, give your account name so let me give it as like test account for now and then let's scroll down and here are some check boxes checked by default so let them uh, keep the recommended options ticked and then after that click on next so now the account setup is done and now let's go to the property setup so in the property setup uh, it's asking us to create a google analytics 4 property to measure your web and or uh, app data so firstly my property name let's say my first site is my property name so you can keep your property name as anything like as you like and then it will be asking for the google uh, it will be asking you for the reporting time zone so it's uh, let's say uh, india i'm in india so let me give it to be india and then my currency uh, you can you can select your currency so let's say rupees so in this way and you can edit this property details later too so after this click on the next and now you will be taken to this about your business so here you will be giving your business information so firstly it is asking us for the industry category so you will be having many categories like arts and entertainment where beauty and fitness and many more things so let's say our blog is about um, beauty and fitness so let's consider it to be beauty and fitness and then uh, your business size uh, let's say it's a startup or like you're a medium uh, you're having a medium uh, medium business so you can just click on medium or small or large or very large so these are categories uh, categorized based on the employees so if you are if you are having one to ten employees it is categorized as small so let's say uh, your business size is uh, one, uh, below 10 employees uh, your business have below 10 employees so i'll be choosing this small and then uh, here it is showing that so here you can uh, click on measuring your customer engagement is one of your intent and also optimizing your site and app experience and measuring data and also analyzing your online sales maybe and then and measuring the app install so after all entering all this click on create 
and here you will be take, you will be shown some terms of service agreement of google analytics so make sure to read this and then after you reading this all click on uh, i accept and this button and then it's showing it as a success and then here comes your my email communications so this is all about what you what do you like to receive from the google so it's like uh, if you want to receive something like performance suggestions and updates from google or else feature announcements or feedback and testing offers from google etc and etc so you can just uh, read this out and then you can choose what all mails what all kinds of mails you, you want to receive from the google so for now i don't want any of this so let's click on save and after this you'll be uh, having some tour of your property so you can see this is the home page and then here are the reports and all so you can just have a quick tour of what all uh, about everything is about so this is our first step that is creating a google analytics account so now we have uh, done our uh, done with our first step so now the second step is to set up the data stream to start collecting the data so firstly to select this uh, to set up this data stream we need a google site so i'll just quickly show you how can you create your own google site so I'll, i have mentioned it in detail in the previous videos you can go check out those videos also on the pc tips pro youtube channel and then uh, now we are on the google site so just click on the blank uh, you can see this plus mark so click on it and then now we have got a simple template so here so it's actually a basic one so you can even choose some template also uh, to start with so let's say um, click on this template gallery and you can see some templates here so let's say i just want to create a uh, uh, choose this this template and click on it so let's wait until it loads and here you go with this so here is some template already made for you, you can make the changes how to make the changes and all i have shown in the previous videos and now uh, this is uh, let's say this is your google site and you want to uh, add this google analytics to this site so let's click on publish and then once you publish you'll uh, you'll be giving some web address so let's say this my first site is my uh, it's already taken okay let's add something which is not taken so maybe this is not taken so then click on publish so after we have published this just click on view so this is our uh, google sites uh, url so copy this url and then so this is the this is the uh, google site that we have created just now and then let's go back so that is our stream so this url is our stream so let's uh, now get to the analytics and click on the web and now it will be asking you to set up your web stream and here in the stream name uh, here in the url you will be giving this url so just let's remove this https so now it's valid and your website name so let's say it's my first website and then after this here you'll be seeing something called as enhancement measurement so enhancement measurement is like what all you want to measure so let's say if this is uh, here are some measurings uh, that is page views so page views is something that like uh, how many times your page is viewed scrolls like how it uh, how many times like how long it scrolled outbound clicks like if your page is having a uh, a link to other web page so it will be showing it in the outbound clicks site search and also video engagement and the file downloads from your page so this all will be in the enhanced measurement so you can even check this or uncheck this based on your requirement and then 
click on the settings to see even more like if you can do this customize like if you want only scrolls or if you want only this or if you want to ex accept some of this you can do that easily by just going to the settings of enhanced measurements and then click on save and then now once you are all done with this uh, settings you can just cre uh, click on create stream so that the stream will be created now so here we got some measurement id so click on this to copy this measurement id and let's go back to our google sites and now we need to add this measurement id to our google site to add this measurement id to our google sites click on the settings and then here you, you have to go to the analytics and here you can give the google analytics tracking or measurement id and paste this uh, measurement id here and you have enabled this analytics now and then in this way we are done with uh, adding our google analytics to the google sites and then let's go back to the analytics and let's close this and you can just explore this so let me close this so you can click on the real time to see your uh, analytics of your site or your app so this is how you can add the analytics google analytics to your google sites and this is all for this video guys i hope you found this video useful to you and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the pc tips pro thank you for watching guys